What is going on guys? Uh, I'm going to do another little follow along video, not a tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to be responsible for anything that you might attempt to do that I do, so that's why I don't do tutorials. But it's going to involve everything that's on this table uh, and what's in this bag. So I'll go ahead and open it up real quick. Right there. Got me a new Olight, the new the new one, the Mini 2. So I'm gonna be taking this, installing it on this, and making me a holster for it that allows it to be a light bearing holster. So that way I have it to run around the woods at night chasing pigs or uh, if I'm going to be going out and I know I'm going to be out at night I'll be able to put that holster on uh, and take it with me but mainly it's for hunting because it's not easy just putting a light on this thing every time I want to use it if I make me a holster that has the light built into it that solves all my problems so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff out start blocking off everything I don't want to uh, interfere on the holster and we'll start the process and start heating this stuff up, pressing it, and hopefully I finish today. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. We'll just have to see how it goes. But thanks for watching, and here's the follow along. So in my package, I get a nice little patch. I'll be sticking that on my my day bag. I got one empty magazine, one empty gun for all you safety Nazis out there. And for those purposes, I keep the magazine in it just so that way if by any chance the heat affects the polymer frame, the magazine will be in there to help keep its, the, the uh, shape of it so I don't have any issues. Worst case, if it does get messed up, I just order me a new grip module. So go ahead and open this. It's nice packaging. Charger. I want a light. And I actually ordered, <laughs> I ordered the black one, but they sent me this one for some reason. And it doesn't really matter to me. It's just for looks, anyway. So it'll work. Let's see if the block style will work. There we go. So. I'm going to make a holster for this combo. I went ahead and grabbed this out of the safe. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that this holster I actually made yesterday. It was my trial run, just a little taco holster for the Taurus. Good retention. It was a good test run, good trial run. I ordered some belt clips, which will go here, but now it's time to step it up to the pancake for this one. So I just wanted to bring that out and let people see, let you see, that it's possible to do this. This was my first time, first attempt ever. Yeah, it's not hard to do. And it's, as long as you don't mind a little challenge, it's kind of fun. So let me go ahead and put this stuff away and let's get started. So I'm going to start with my little goodie box here. It's got a bunch of stuff that I used on the Taurus. But basically I'm going to go ahead and start by covering up the ejection port and anything that I do not want to have formed by the kydex I'm going to get taped up so I'm going to go ahead and finish taping up a lot of this and I'll come back to you when I'm done. Alright, got it all taped up, got my clearances so that way it'll clear the light. I've got my retention points right here, right here, right here. So 
Now it's time to go ahead and get the kydex out and start warming it up. Proceed on to the next step. You want to bring your kydex up to about 320 degrees. And that's about the ideal temperature for at least for the ones I'm working with. 329, 330, seems about perfect. Set it shiny side down. My press isn't using Kydex press foam, so that's why I'm using the towel as a supplemental. So now we're going to take this outside and let it sit for about 10 minutes and cool and see what we got. Alright, we're coming up on 10 minutes, so let's bust it open and see if I got it right. for my retention points. Got plenty of room to trim. Just trim off a little bit on the edge and get trim for rivets and I think it's good. So go ahead and let it cool down for just a few minutes with the fan blowing on it and then we'll take it apart and see what it looks like. Kind of got some rough marks where I want to make some cuts, so I'm going to start by separating the kite. I'm pulling the gun out. As you can see, got my good retention points right in here. I can always heat relief these a little bit later with the heat gun, but this will work for now. I'll go ahead and fit it together and make some rough cuts. Alright, I put a rough sand down, got all my edges squared up for an initial square up. Uh, next step will be, I'll pull out the drill press and I'll drill some holes and get this riveted together so that way we can move on to the next process. But right now, I'm going to pack up and head to baseball, it's baseball practice. So. Uh, be back later.